All right, guys. So, uh, so again, uh, uh, yeah. office hours just ended. Anybody have any questions from homework or just in general? And by the way, um, I did have a, I have a due date up in there, and I think it's already passed on like the review section, but you could still turn it in, right? Uh, don't just suddenly say, well, I can never turn that. No, you can turn in late work. That's fine. Especially in the early going, I'll, I'll be lenient. The only reason I put the due date was I wanted people to get in there and do it so I had more questions uh, to work off of from people. But still keep going with it and, and, and turn that in. Don't worry too much about if it's going to be a little bit late. All right. A few more people connecting. Oh, cool. I'm up to 26. Anybody have any questions out there? You guys doing all right? I did have uh, one question I want to go over right now. Um, let me see. Yeah. So it, it, there's a problem in the homework that's a hundred minus sixty four. Oh shit. <laughs> we. A hundred minus sixty four point two five, right? There's a problem in that very first assignment, and I want to show you something kind of cool. I'm not going to do that problem because that's your problem to do. But let me do one that's even harder. Uh, let's do 1,000 minus 717.92. So the first thing you'll notice what I did there, right, was I added some decimal places so they match up. So pretty cool with me so far? All right, and, and by the way, yes, you must do this by hand. Your calculator is not taking this class. You are. Now, you're not going to have to do this kind of problem by hand all the time this whole semester. But in the early going, I especially need you to do that just so I can gauge where everybody is. Um, so what really, really, really sucks about this problem besides the fact that you have to do it by hand? What is, isn't it all the freaking zeros? Aren't they just so terrible? So how do you do this? You have to start borrowing, right? But that, that zero's got nothing to give, and that zero's got nothing to give, right? Maybe yeah. you have to go all the way back here and say, okay, let me borrow one from you. 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 Is that, that's what really sucks with a whole bunch of zeros in a row. You guys semi with me at all? Yes. I am going to show you a shortcut. I don't know if anybody knows the shortcut, but it kicks so much butt. It's amazing. All right, so it is all about borrowing, but you have to go till somebody actually has something they can give. You can't borrow from the guy that's got nothing. All right, and then, of course, you can do 2A20A. Now, I want to show you a shortcut. The shortcut kicks so much ass. The shortcut is based on this idea. Um, what is 11 minus 8? Uh, how about there we Three. go? Three. No, two. Almost there. <laughs> now watch. If I make this go down by 1 and I make this go down by 1, isn't the answer the same still? Do you see how I made the 11 go down by one and the eight go down by one? It's still, there's still three apart, right? Yes. 11 and eight are three apart, 10 and seven are three apart. Do you guys get that idea? Yeah. Yes. So watch how I can use that, watch. So if I got a thousand point zero zero minus seven seventeen point nine two, I can make this go down to 999.99 as long as I make this one go down to 717.91. I make both of them go down by one in the very last place. 
So aren't they still the same? Isn't the answer going to be the same? They're still the same distance apart. But look, I ain't got to do any freaking borrowing at all, do I? Do I still get the same answer? 2, 82.08, yes. Do you, do you have to do that? Nope, you don't have to. You can borrow like crazy. Yeah, maybe. Is <laughs> Pretty new today. What's that? Pretty neat. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, so anything else from any homework stuff? Any questions? No. Thank you. All right. So the spokesperson has spoken. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, let me see. So I want to do some stuff out of the book with you. First thing, since there, if there's no other questions, I'm going to jump right into, uh, I'm actually going to jump into section one, two. Um, and, and I can do one thing in one, one real quick, just to make sure I haven't gotten any questions specifically from one, one homework yet. So I, I, I don't know if there's any troubles. Um, but when you're making a, a bar graph, uh, let me see. So if I had like uh, Toyota, uh, Hyundai, BMW, uh, piece of shit. If I have these kind of uh, cars and I've got like 28% uh, have a Toyota and 12% have a Hyundai and 10% have a P BMW. And so what's that? 22, so then 50% have a, a piece of shit, right? This is a, not the official brand name, but I think you understand what I mean. If I wanna make that into a bar graph, there are many ways to kind of represent a bar graph, but the most fundamental way, and the way I really want it, is the normal, the, the regular way. So you'd have a Toyota, I'm just gonna put the first letters, Hyundai, BMW, and piece of shit. And then I go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, right? These are all percentages, blah, blah, blah. So then the Toyota would go up to 28. And the Hyundai would go up to 12 and so forth. Is everybody decent with that? I mean, you be a little more careful when you make yours. You guys with me on that? Okay. That's how you make a bar graph? I'm sorry, you got it? Yes. Okay. Okay. So what I want to do is if you have your book, I'm, I'm going to be looking at uh, page. I just had it and now I went somewhere else. Bop, bop, bop. Here we go. Bottom of page. Uh, oh, I love this thing. 22. I'm sorry. Bottom of page 23. There we go. If you have your book, I mean, obviously, if you don't, it's kind of hard to turn in that page. Um, I'm going to share this with you. And what I want you to do is to write these problems down. Write these problems down if you don't have a book, okay? So these problems right here, just take a minute and just don't even start working unnecessarily. Just get them written down. Is everybody able to see that the book? I am. Temperature's going up. I love it. And as you write those problems down, read through what the instructions are. Some can be done quickly. Some need some work. Some of them will not, you can't do them at all. And the whole purpose of these is really to pay attention to the units. So just these four problems right here. Has everybody got those copied down? Anybody not have those copied down yet? You guys doing okay this morning? 
We're almost one sixteenth of the way through the semester. Fractions again. Dude, they rule your <laughs> life, whether you like it or not. But we control them. We made them. Rawr. We can cancel them sometimes. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend like everybody's got that. Everybody's got these. Nobody's telling me no. So get these. Oh shit! A ton of work today. Yeah. So copy these down real quick. Once you get them copied down, go ahead and try to start working on them. And then I'm going to break you guys out into groups so you can discuss and compare answers. And I'm really sorry if you're very shy. You don't have to turn your video camera on, but you should speak to other people. That would be helpful. Before I forget, is everybody, yes. Somebody is currently named iPhone. Do you know how to change your name? It's not Linnell, right? I got Linnell, yeah. Got Linnell. Who's named iPhone? It's a very strange name for a, to give your kid. Oh, thank you. I think some, it just changed, okay. Excuse me, I wanna just make sure of the page number, like I did it. Uh, 24. Right now I'm on page 24 and the first four over on the previous page, 23. So it's page 23 and 24. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. So once you got them all written down, go ahead and start working on them. I'm going to give you just a couple minutes and I'm going to put you into groups so you can kind of check your answers with each other. Everybody got my message about the 11 o'clock extra office hours. Did you guys get that? Yes. Okay. So you, you don't have to come to those. Do you understand that? I can't make you come to those because that's not during our class time, but you can come if you want to, and we can talk about any homework problems or anything. Okay. Thank you. I will join it. Okay. Good. At least I won't be alone. Hopefully, you know, if you, if you access the book uh, electronically or something, you can open that up to look at these. That's fine. If you don't have a book yet and you're not sure how to make that happen, you need to talk to me. You need to get this book somehow. Um, I did put the 1.1 homework problems into the 1.1 homework module. So if you don't have the book yet, you can go to the 1.1 homework place and you can see all the problems there. Oh, okay. You don't have to do that, Bashira, you're fine. You do what you gotta do, all right. Could I ask a homework question, please? Uh, can, can I wait then? Yeah, just give it a minute. I want everybody focused on this. I'm okay, going to put you guys out in about a minute so you can work with each other. Did I lose somebody? I lost somebody. Is 
Does anybody not have these copied down yet at least? I'm gonna stop sharing my screen in a minute or, you know, a few seconds. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and break you guys up. Uh, please help each other out. At the very least, compare answers. If you're just logging in, uh, we're doing page 23 and 24 problems. If you don't have the book, you're gonna to have to work with your group when I put you into a breakout room. Um, let me see, I'm gonna let you guys have, yeah, let's see. You should end up with three to four people in your room. So I'm going to do this and you guys go to your room and call me in if you need help. So help each other out. Go. Fly. <laughs> Run, you fools. Okay. Let's see who's really here. So click on the link so you can go to your room. Okay, I like it. See, Sam, I think you're here, right? And Taha, Sam, Taha, are you guys out there? Okay. And yeah. then so go ahead and click on that link. Can you see the link on the screen? Taha? Yes. Go ahead and click on the link so you can go into the room. Okay. Can you, can you see the link? There should be a link saying join the room or. Taha? Taha, are you okay out there? There should be a link on your screen so that you can go my internet is very bad. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Do what you can. Does the link not show up for you, Tom?
Welcome back, guys. All right, so let's see. So I, I all right. So I felt bad for the one person in the room where the other people wouldn't say anything, but when I break you guys out in the rooms, if none of you have any clue what's going on with anything, call me in there. Uh, at the very least, at the very, very least, talk with each other about whatever. Get to know each other a little bit better. Uh, preferably, I'd like people to be talking about um, you mute everybody. Somebody keeps unmuting themselves. Stop. Can't more power than me. Rah. Um, anyway. All right. What is happening? How? There. Okay. Now you can't even unmute yourself. All right. So let's look at these real quick. Uh, let me make it. I'm going to let people unmute yourselves, but don't unless you actually want to say something. All right. All right. Okay. So this very first problem should have been pretty straightforward. Who's, who's got this very first problem? You guys are like, it's too easy. I don't even want to answer that one. 17 grams. Yeah, so that one, they're completely like terms. I got 17 grams total cholesterol. Real, just to jump ahead to number four, what's different about number four, of course? One sodium, one's carbs. Yes. So what can you do with number four? <laughs> Nothing. Good. You just leave it like that. You can't combine those at all. I love it. So the way this is going to work best is to, okay, I can't, whoever keeps unmuting yourself, stop. So only unmute yourself if you're going to say something, especially when you got a lot of shit in the background. We don't, we don't need that. Um, so yeah, number four is one you can't do anything with. Number two is really nice, right? Because they got three of these plus seven of these. So what'd you guys get for number two? Okay. Let's no. add them. Say again? Not 11. Add three plus seven yes. over 11. Yes, so 10 over 11. How to make this more clear. All right. I don't want to make it so you can't unmute yourself, but please unmute yourself, say something, and then mute yourself again because there's a lot yes. of. Yes, back. Professor. Yes. The, the second one, we leave 11 uh, the same and we uh, put 7 plus 3 equal 10. So it becomes 10. Uh, 11 over 10 or 10, 11, 10 over 11. I don't know. This is the first time for me taking uh, my class. You're, so. you're, you're right. It's 10 over 11. You're exactly right. So yeah. let me show you guys something. Whoop. Um, right. Can you mute yourself, everybody? Mute yourself. There you go. Okay, thank you. Uh, so if I have, let me see, let me make one just like the same thing. Yeah. So if I have three cars plus seven cars, I got 10 cars. If I got three, uh, uh, candy bars <laughs> plus seven candy bars, I got 10 candy bars. If I got three elevenths plus seven elevenths, I got 10 elevenths. It's, it's the exact same idea. I'm just consolidating how many elevenths I got. Three of these plus seven of these is 10 of these. That's all that is. That's why we need an LCD to be able to add and subtract fractions because that makes them like terms. I love it. All right, let me reshare this. I'm not used to sharing so much. It's my stuff. Um, what about number three? That's where we hit our first really big snag, right? So we leave it the same? No. Yeah, the three is different from four because yards is not the same as feet, but they're both units of length. I can convert yards to feet. So I think somebody just said, how many, how many feet in a yard? Three. 
So then how many eight yards is how many feet? 10. So 24 feet. Let me stop right there. Is everybody with me? Three feet for every one yard. So eight feet must be eight times three, 20, I'm sorry, eight yards must be eight times three, 24 feet. Stop there for a minute. Is everybody cool with that? Uh, can you please explain more, Professor? All right, so listen. Uh, can everybody mute yourselves again? I really need you guys to get used to that because I can't. All right. One yard is three feet. Period. If you didn't know that, now you do. One yard is three feet. So two yards is how many feet? Six. Six. Right? Is everybody, if one yard is three feet, there I am, then two yards has to be six feet. All right, too many fingers. So eight yards has to be eight times three, 24 feet. Is that okay? Yeah, okay. Okay. So now I can do eight yards is 24 feet. Now I can add it to two feet. So I get how many total feet? 26. 26 feet. I like it. I like it. Did anybody do that problem a different way? All right, don't freak out. Do not freak out. Yes, I did it the difference way, but the dancer was wrong. Oh, well, all right. <laughs> so here's the only other way to do this problem, and I do not blame you if you never want to do it this way, but is two feet, is two feet a full yard? No. No, in fact, it is two thirds of a yard. Because I have two feet out of three that I need. Let me stop right there for a second because I know everybody hates fractions. Poor little fractions. We made them and then we go, I hate you. Um, two feet is two thirds of a yard because two feet is two thirds of what I need. Two out of three. So I could say that's eight and two thirds yards, but I'm not saying anybody would want to do that. You guys, you guys with me? Making your feet is easier, so I would certainly advocate for that. Um, again, can everybody mute yourself when you're not talking? No? Yes, thank you, okay. Um, all right, here we go. So this one should definitely not be a problem, right? Nobody's gonna think this is 80 bucks. Yeah, Tatiana, I gotcha. Uh, if it keeps happening, I'm just gonna have to make it so you can't unmute yourself and that's, I don't wanna do that. But um, the person that thinks this is 80 bucks, I feel bad for them when they find out it ain't, but I don't think anybody here thought so. This one's not too bad at all, right? What's five bucks plus 75 cents? How do you write that? Yes, Andrew. We already kind of inherently know that 75 cents is 75 out of 100. Ooh, euros, kick ass. Uh, Don't bring euros into this. Let's not do that. I don't know what the current conversion is. You guys okay out there? You guys okay? No. What happened? So, uh, can, can you please explain again? I don't understand. All right, let me show it up here. Bow. Yeah. Um, so you got five dollars plus seventy five cents. How, all right, this one is almost so straightforward, you don't have to do any real math with it. If I had five dollars and somebody gave me seventy five cents, wouldn't I write that as five dollars and seventy five cents? Yes, that's correct. Now, why? Because seventy five cents, so that's the answer. 75 cents is 75 out of a hundred dollars. Let me stop there for a minute. I think very few of us would actually write that, but that's what that is. 
is 75 cents a full dollar? No, it's 75 out of 100. If I had 100 cents, that's 100 out of $100. That's $1. 100 out of 100. Let me stop for a minute. And of course, 75 out of 100 is 0.75. So now they have the same units and I can put them together. Now, very few of us, what is it? Both my SAMs have stuff going on. There we go. Okay, thank you. Um, very few of us would ever have to do this, especially with money, because we're a lot more used to working with money. So we probably wouldn't show ourselves as much math as this. But that's the math behind what we do. Uh, oh, shit. Is it working okay now, Lauren? I guess so. Okay. All right. All right. Let's come back. Let me see. Oh, please make a vaccine so we can go back to the classroom. Is that really that much to ask? Oh, shit, that's the wrong thing. Oh, too much crap. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Let me find out. Where did you go? There it is. Pop. Did somebody just chat at me? Oh, okay. Here we go. Yes. Six is beautiful. If I have eight X's and there's five more X's over there, how many X's do I have? Just like Ruben said, 13. Is that, is number six okay? Yeah. So the whole yes. consolidation, if I'm like, hey man, how many chairs are there over there? Oh, there's five chairs. Oh yeah, and seven chairs. And then there's four. It's like, no, just add them up and tell me how many chairs. And so this guy is like, how many X's? We've got eight X's over here. So 13 X's, what the hell are you doing? Right, we're just consolidating. I like. So what about number seven? I, hopefully I've said this enough about fractions already. Seven is different from six because they're not like terms yet. What do you have to do to make them like terms? Maybe we have to make five, uh, 20. We have to make five times four to, to become 20 and uh, oh, two <laughs> times four. Is that correct? Yes. I'm trying to make this better here. I'm trying to be all. Yeah. Here we go. Four. That's not too bad, right? Four. Yeah. We're telling you this four. four over there. So then you get eight over 20. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you guys, I, was, I'm, I feel so bad. This is even worse than me on the chalkboard. Plus seven over 20. Yeah. And of course, that would be. 15. 15 maybe, 15 over 20. That's good so far. Yeah. Why is that not done? They can be reduced. Yes, you can reduce that. What goes into both? Five. 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 Three over four. So that's okay. just the last thing you worry about. The last thing you worry about is, can I reduce what I got? That's the last thing you worry about at the end of a fraction problem. Yeah. Let's see, does that go away if I do this? I don't know, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so what about, is it pretty cool with number seven? We've done several of those kind of problems and I really <laughs> hope, oh, sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry, um, so it would be incorrect if I left it at 15 over, over 20. In, in a very uh, trivial sense, but still it is a sense that you would lose points for. It's just okay. convention to write the answer in lowest terms. I see, okay, thank you. But you would lose very few points if that was the only mistake you made, right? Because that's not like a huge, you got the right answer, it's just not the right form. So I'm not gonna go crazy and take off all the points. Ah, ha, ha. No, um, give me a few years. Maybe I'll be uh, cynical enough to start doing that. So this one is a lot like number five, except it's one that we're a little less used to dealing with. We're more used to dealing with money than we are with dealing with time, to be honest. Um, but it's also a lot like that yards and feet one. What do I want to convert? The days into Maybe. hours. I want to convert hour. days into hours because five hours is not even a full day and I'd have to bring fractions in if I wanted to go from hours to days. So let's not do that. Five days, of course, is how, how do I figure out how many hours that is? Multiply by 24. Yeah, 24 hours in a day. 
You can do it, Jeff. <laughs> I feel like I'm about seven. Look what I can do. <laughs> Five times 24 is? 120. 120. So I get 120. Five. Jeebus. <laughs> I'm sorry. You guys are like, come on, man. Math is hard enough. I'm trying to read your writing too. Sorry. So 125 is, so if you leave your answer like this, why is that bad? Why are you going to maybe lose a point if I'm feeling uh, angry? You don't have to put the hour. Yes. Tell me how, what the units are. Or I might, at the very least, I would break down here shoes, sheep. You know, I'm going to be really a dork and, and try to guess at the units you want to tell me. Okay. What about number nine? So, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, so we changed the five days to hours. That's we right. Time five with uh, twenty-four. Because every day, day has twenty-four hours. So yeah. it's exactly like that. Yard has three feet, so eight yards is eight times three feet. One day has 24 hours, so five oh, okay. days is five times 24 hours total. I love it. Oh. Okay. okay. What about number no, nine? Okay. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. I what about number? You can't do anything with it because one of them is squared, the Y. I love it. I got three Ys, and somebody mm -hmm. wants to add seven Y squares to that. I can't do that. Done. We just leave it like that, or say indefined. No, it's not no, like no, that. No, 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 no. Just we leave it like that. Uh, it's not a whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I love you guys. Uh, yeah, you're right. So that one, you could just circle it <laughs> and say, "There you go. I'm done. I was done before uh, I even got to that problem." Yes. Uh, um, Jeff, um, yes. on the on that, I'm trying to figure that one out. I was right there when you. Um, separated the groups and one of the um, young ladies was explaining that to me. I ended up um, calling the, the uh, three plus seven to the second power made it 14 and came out with 17. Why? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Okay. I sort uh, of so, so real quick, Linnell, two things. Seven squared would be 49. Oh, yeah. Oh, seven. In nine, this seven, problem, nine. look at this problem. What is the only thing being squared in this problem? The, the seven. I saw you, I saw you the say The Y. Yes, the Y. <laughs> I saw you say it. Um, so there, there, why would you square the seven? It's not being squared. Oh, okay, yes. And, and what do you say? Now watch. This is not the right answer. Does everybody hear me? I'm about to write the wrong answer because the right answer is right there. Here's the wrong answer, but can somebody tell me what somebody was thinking So what I would say is I would say, I don't see any Y cubes. How did you get 10 of them? I see seven, I see three Y's. I right. see three Y squares. I don't see any Y cubes. How the hell do you get 10 of them? So the only time an exponent will change is if I'm multiplying. Because what are exponents based on? Multiplication. Addition subtraction requires exact like terms. Same variables, same exponents. Okay, so can you do a problem that has the exact like terms? I'm having a problem yes, grabbing number six. that. Number six. Right? Eight X's plus five X's was, we got 13. Okay. I can consolidate that. Why would oh. somebody be telling me, well, there's eight X's and then there's five? I'm like, just tell me there's 13 X's. But down right. here, there ain't 10 nothings. There's three of these and seven of those, and that's the best I can do. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. This is like three dogs and seven cats. You wouldn't right, say right. dog cats. Right. They're not these dog they're cat not creatures. Like. That's gross. I don't want genetic. <laughs> don't do genetic experiments with your math problems. All right. They're bad enough already. Okay. Okay. What about Thank number 10? 10 actually turns out to be hopefully relatively easy. Is that okay for me to say? 
Yeah, 0. 0.5 plus yeah. 0.4 is 0. 0.9. They're like terms, they're both just numbers. There you go, yeah. Jen. Yay, I'm gonna put this up on my fridge. All right. <laughs> All right, so I, I, what I said, um, why can't I move around on this thing now? Let me see what happens if I do that. Okay. Oh shit, look, all that stuff comes with me. I didn't realize that. <laughs> Great. Uh, let me see, let me stop sharing. And has everybody got what they want from this right now? Is that all right? Did that jive with most of your answers? Yes. Okay, let me stop sharing and try to share again and see what happens here. Uh, there it is, Jeff, you can do it, you can do it. Yay, okay. Um, just to show you, I did discuss this a little bit uh, yesterday. Where am I? Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here, dude. All right. The main thing about some of these problems in this, in this uh, section one, two homework, right here, remember I had some questions yesterday about this. The main thing to realize is they're not the same units, right? We discussed that yesterday. So the first thing you gotta do is make them the same units, just like we just did, right? Okay, so be careful about that. Um, I also like this book because they keep bringing old ideas back. So here's some more bar graphs, right? I like it. Oh shit, what did I just do? There we go. All right, let me go back up here. Sorry guys, don't watch this, you're gonna get sick, okay. Oh, I don't worry. I don't care about this. I'm not going to teach you how to uh, balance your checkbook because I don't think anybody does anymore, <laughs> for one thing. <laughs> um, all right. Yeah, I think that's all I wanted to show you. Uh, how? I don't think a lot of people have tried one, two homework out yet. But just keep in mind, it's all about making sure the units are the same before you combine things. Would, would there be a time where you can like quickly just show how you balance a checkbook? Oh, uh, sure. Um, let me see. This Ooh, is a good example know. up here. Hold on. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Here we go. Oh, shit. So looking at this real quick, real quick. Um, looking at this, it kind of gives it away that it's in the red, but what does debit mean? Money that was taken out? No. Good. Yes. And of course, credit means money that was put in. So that kind of makes sense. Paycheck should probably be money to go in. So one way to kind of, uh, let me make sure there's no more entries on the next page. Uh, I can't go to the next page. Shit. Um, I think I mentioned this really quick earlier. One way to balance a checkbook is to add up all the negatives, add up all the positives, and then combine those, right? So I would add up all these and get a big old negative amount down here. And then I would add up all these and get a big old positive amount here. And then I would combine those at the end. Is that all right? You guys out there? Yes, yes, thank okay. you. Sure. So you're saying you would add them both and just then add again? Yes, yeah, so let me make an easier example up on the board. With less uh, stuff happening. Yeah. Because for one thing, I was laughing at the rent amount. They obviously don't live in San Diego. Or... So if I had, um, uh, you can do it, Jeff. Debit, credit. So see my rent's like 1600 And right, so this will be like in red. I got a red pen, but oh well, I, I'm too lazy. Um, and then I got to pay five hundred dollars in groceries and four fifty in utilities, right? And then let's say I get a paycheck, uh, uh, three thousand dollars, and my friend Tony pays me uh, four hundred dollars he owed me from last month, right? Tony always borrowing money from what the hell, Tony? So if I add up all these, these are all negative, of course. So if I add up all these. I'll get 25.50, negative, right? And if I add these up, I'll get positive 3,400. So when I combine these, it is 3,400 minus 25.50. So I'll have 8.50 total 
to play around with. And that right there is called balancing your checkbook. That's what we consider balancing the checkbook. So what you do is oh. you get to the final answer and then you compare that to what you have in the bank and make okay. sure that the bank didn't screw you over. Of course, okay. nowadays, what do we all do? We just trust the bank. Like, oh yeah, that sounds good. But we, yeah, all, we just look at the online, we go, eh, that looks good. And the bank is like, ah, anyway, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I kind of got through for a loop when you said combine. I was like, huh? add the two together but the difference yes so I combine the word combine does not mean add or subtract so in this case you are subtracting because i'm combining a positive with a negative does that make sense so we yes all it does think, yeah it's think, like yeah it right. makes sense that's what i was saying jeff yes it do thank you i got you, I got you. All right. Yeah, yeah. I, I just have a question. Why debit yes. is positive and the credit is uh, negative? Other way around. So the credits are money that get put into my account and the debits are uh, money okay. that I think I, In fact, what's the little card that we have? Not a credit card. It's called a debit card, which is kind of weird that we got a credit card and a debit card. The actual word. So when I use my debit card, doesn't that take money out of my account? Yes. Credit card's different, of course, because that's um, imaginary money that later we have to actually pay back. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Unfortunately, uh, some people are like, I took it off my credit and put it in my accounts. So now I got more money. It's like, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have a question number, number okay, three. Thanks. Number three? Let me see. Hold on. Are we looking at, uh, let's see. Sorry. Number three from what we just did together, or number three from the, the, the homework problems? Homework, um, the section one, two. One, two, homework? Yes. Okay. Okay, so I, don't know, I wrote, I wrote um, a note on my assignment, but just by looking at it, you could tell that there's a difference of 18. So I don't know how to write out the actual problem. So tell, I me, just, tell, me, tell me, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, dude. Watch, watch, go with me. What's the difference between 10 and 2? The difference between 10 and 2? Yes. Eight. So what did you actually just do? What operation? You did 10? You subtract difference. Minus 2. Right. I love it. So what's the difference between where I am 3 and where I was negative 15? It would be 3 minus negative 15. Right. And of course, minus and negative is plus. So that's the math you would show me to see how you get to 18. Okay, because I, I just use, because I just go, I just use absolute value. You know, I just, I don't know. Yeah, you no, know, you're fine. So you got to show me something. And sometimes, like you just said, a lot of people can just look at it and go, well, I can see I went up to 18. But what's the math look like is also important to know for instances where you can't just see what you're supposed to do. You have to know what the math that goes into it, right? I like if I it. did the math, I just. But it's a question of you got to know what to show me because I, I am very right. big on showing me some kind of work. I have a question on that what? one. Oh, sorry. Yes. I, um, on, on number three, right? Yes. Because I did, okay, it's negative 15. And I just was thinking like if I have $15 or I'm and I'll have gain three. Or if I'm negative in the bank and I had put deposited three dollars, I would still be negative. Okay, okay, I love it. Now watch. the The problem with that is this isn't three that I'm adding. This is three that I'm at. So if I owed somebody fifteen and then something happened and now I'm up three. Oh, okay. What okay. was it that happened? This isn't like how much more, this is where I am in that year. So they're really asking what oh, is the difference? Okay. I appreciate that though, because I got a lot of people telling me the answer is 12 and stuff like that, but it's- Yeah, that's what I thought. How much would somebody have to give me just to get me back to even from 2008? Of course they'd have to give me 15. Right. And then, and then they gave me three more. So I would even accept writing that down saying, well, I could see I need 15 to get back up and then the three more. So I know that's 18. That actually is beautiful to me because that's still math and you're explaining your reasoning, but you got to show, don't just write 18 
Especially don't just write 18 because isn't this the, why would 18 be wrong? 18 is even wrong. Negative 18. No, it's positive 18, but are we talking about 18 bucks? This company, Ford Motor Company, 18 bucks. Does that sound right? Billion. Billion. There we go. We're talking about billions of money. Yeah, money. We're talking about Bezos money here, right? All I share in common with Bezos is the first name, but all right. Okay, what page are you on? I'm I'm lost. On it's page this. thirty-one. I'm sorry. Yeah, oh. page thirty-one. But you can oh, see it up on the screen, right? Yeah, I see that. I, I actually the, have the book, but I'm here on page. Oh, okay, 31. this is the one-two homework. Somebody had a question from one-two homework. Yeah. And then can we do eleven on one-two? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, okay, okay. So. Every now and again, there will be some Excel questions. Um, you don't have to know how to do Excel. You don't. This really is just a math question, to be honest. So don't say, I've never used Excel. Okay, okay. You don't have to have known how to use Excel. Um, how did they get 50? Well, all they're really asking is, for the numbers here, how did they get 50? What did they, what did they tell Excel to do with these numbers? Times them by five. No. <laughs> Just add, add them all together. Five. Yeah, just add all these up, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, adding all these up would get 50. So this is like problem number one. Here's the possible points. So I want to know how many total possible points were there. Have you guys ever taken a class where the teacher says the tests are worth 1,000 points and the midterms 500 points and the final is 2,500 points? Has anyone ever taken that kind of class? All right, those people, what's funny to me is sometimes those are math teachers, and normally those are the people that don't know math too well because uh, they can't handle percentages. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did I just get a bunch of English teachers that upset at me? Maybe. Um, I don't watch my videos. Sorry? Hmm? Are you here? Sorry. Oh, okay. Um, what was I? All right, I think that's good, right? So, so you don't even have to know the right Excel formula. Just tell me it added up all the values in your fine. What I, what really, what I really wish we had, I wish we had enough money at Grossmont so that when we go back to Grossmont, we have enough Excel, we have enough like computer classrooms. Because I would love to teach this class in Excel because Excel is a great skill to have to go into the world, right? It's, it's, so if you never really get to use Excel much, you're, you're missing a skill that could help you be more marketable and find better jobs. So I wish we had enough money to have enough computers so we could use Excel for everybody, but we don't. So I'm not going to. Uh, but at least I like this book that you can see how it's set up. And to be honest, look up here. I just, I didn't even realize they have this here. Look at this. So they're telling you that C12, do you see C12 is the sum of C2 to C11. Do you guys see that right there? So that is actually exactly what you would type into. You would go to this, this block and you would type this in and it would do that. It would, it would add up all the stuff from C2 to C11. So that's, that's what I was thinking that we had to write on number 11. And I'm telling you, you don't have to do that because I'm not making you know it, but they did give you this so you could kind of like guess that that would be some b2 to b11 same way right mm -hmm. but i'm not going to make you have to feel like you have to know excel on top of everything so uh money uh, is principle yeah okay uh professor my question is on 11 what will be the answer can you show us on the board please uh no <laughs> uh i gave you two answers for number 11 already one of them is just tell me you would add up all the numbers in column B. And the other one is like Nikisha was saying, you could, you could actually write this, but for B instead of C. So all they're asking is, how did they get the number 50? Well, they just added these numbers up. So you can just tell me that. You don't have to use Excel programming language. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, number eight in the missing part, I know, the first two is um, on, on six is to add everything up and, get, and then get the sum. Okay, so then I'm moving to uh, six and seven, then eight here in unit one, 
page 32. Okay, so there's it, it says find the length of the unlabeled side of the figure. Yes. If the perimeter in is, is 86. Yep. Okay, so not the I'm not looking for the exact answer to that, but just the formula to that is so watch to this. let me give you a, a, a take a the similar, size. Okay. Let me give you a similar problem. Uh, so what if I had just pretend like this is a rectangle? That's not too bad for me. And you know this is seven and this is ten. Well, let's see. A rectangle is too easy, <laughs> All right? Because you already know the other side's going to be ten. Let me make it a triangle. Get out of here. All right. Let me see. Here we go. So I got this beautiful looking triangle here, right? It's so beautiful. All right. So let's say this is six, and this is ten. And no, the perimeter, oh God, the perimeter is, what is it, Jeff? Let's say the perimeter is 25. Let's say everything's feet. So if I know the perimeter is 25, and I know this is 10 feet, and this is six feet, well, what's that gotta be? Nine. Yeah, it's gotta be nine feet, right? Because they have to add to be this. So I do end up subtracting. Since I know what the addition answer will be, I actually have to subtract how much I've already got just to see what the last dude has to be. Now, of course, pay attention. There's inches and feet. Oh, shit. So that's the very first thing you do is convert all your feet to inches. Right? Linnell, I don't know if you're talking to me or somebody else, but I can't. Yeah, that threw me for a loop. I didn't, I, you know, I've been keeping it on mute because I know that's been irritable to you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry. that's that's why I had it on mute and I was talking and you didn't hear me. I appreciate Okay, but 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 I did not see the differences of the inches and feet, and that's what threw oh, me for a loop. Yes. Yeah. And so they once I that. convert that. They do that on all these problems. Uh somebody's asking me, no, I'm not. I could do other things. Let me see. I'm not only doing problems from one, two. Lauren, do you have another question? Oh, shit. Um, yeah, I had a question on, it's in 1.3. It was going to be 4B. Ooh, 1.3. All right, hold on. Yeah, on page 46. So the second part is section 1.3. Let me stop doing this. Hold on. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see. 46, bam. This here? Yeah, 4B. I think it's the exponent that's messing me up. Oh, yeah. This one gets nifty. So, can everybody see this problem right here? Yes. Six times two minus five times three minus. So, do, do you guys know what Russian nesting dolls are? No? Yeah. yeah. They're the, they have like, you open it, you have a big old doll, you open it, and there's a smaller doll, you open it, there's a smaller doll, you open it, there's a smaller doll. Also, Russian Doll is an excellent Netflix show you should watch. But um, when, do you see how, what does that have to do with anything, Jeff? Your freaking Russian dolls, Jeff. Why are you so weird, Jeff? So see how there's an inside parenthesis, and then there's another, it's inside this other parenthesis, right? So since you have to do in parentheses first, you would do in here first, but then in here, there's another set of parentheses. So you always start at the innermost parentheses and work your way out. So the very first thing I would do in this problem is three minus four. And then I would square that. That's all I'm gonna say about that for right now. I wanna let everybody get to that and give it a try, but does that help you out a little bit, Lauren? Yes, it does. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. Let me stop doing that. Oops, shoot. All right, guys. So let me tell you this. I, whoa. Okay. Uh, I have the 11 o'clock extra office hours for you guys. I actually have to log off here in a few minutes anyway, because I've got a little meeting in the middle. That's why I pushed it off till 11. Um, so if you want to come back at 11, where did I put the link? Was it, did I put it in Canvas or did I, I can't remember what I did now. What did I do? Email. Oh, I sent it out over email. You said okay. you made a, a, a link for it, right? Where you, no, that's YouTube. Yeah, I sent it out over email. Thank you, I did. Uh, a link for 11 o'clock 
meeting time. You do not have to come to the 11 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock today. Uh, by Monday, I should know, I should make a better schedule, but there's still a few committees that haven't set their meeting times yet, which is really driving me insane. But um, at least today I got some more time, 11 o'clock. So check your email, make sure you got that Zoom link if you wanna come, all right? Otherwise, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and head out and I'll see some of you guys at 11. And otherwise, I'll see you next week. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a good Thank day. Thank you. Thank you, Have professor.